Hi there, and welcome. This video demonstrates the use of project parameters and filters in Revit 2013. The techniques will be shown by creating a simple U-value analysis. This means that at the end of the session, we should have building components which contains information about their the minimum required U-values as well as a graphical representation of the different values. So in order to get started, we'll go to uh, Manage and we'll create a project parameter. We'll add a new one and we'll call it U-value. Before continuing, it's very important to understand that in Revit we have project parameters and we have shared parameters. And the large difference is that the values in a project parameter cannot appear in text. So when doing these analysis, I'll always recommend that you create a shared parameters, but um, that will first be explained how to in coming videos. So in order to learn the techniques, continue by using a project parameter. We named it. The discipline should be common. The type of parameter could be a text parameter if you would like the decimal point to be a comma, but I'll recommend that you set it to numbers, which means that the decimal point will be a dot. The group will be organized, in this case, under I um, density data. Another thing that's important to understand is that if you are making analysis, meaning that you are entering values uh, from building regulation uh, concerning sound, uh, U-values, fire, and so on. I'll always recommend that you put it on the instance uh, level, which allow you to have the same type of uh, construction, but with different uh, requirements. If later on you would like to use a similar technique for actual values, you should create the parameters or project parameters as type parameters. We will continue by selecting a category. In this example, we only would like to um, add this parameter on our walls and our windows. I will say OK and OK. And I will now show you that if I mark a wall, I should have a parameter on the identity data that's called U value. In a similar way, if I take my window, I should have a um, parameter under identity data that's called U value. The next step will be to add a few values and I'll do that by selecting all instances in view, meaning all my walls, and I will type in the U value 0 0.3 and apply it. And I'll do the same with the window, select all instances visible in view, and I'll type in 1.8 and apply it. Now we would like to use these values to color our um, drawing. And uh, before continuing, I always recommend that you are duplicating your drawing and naming it something so you don't destroy your original floor plans, but um, have a copy that we can call value, u-value, sorry. I'll say OK, and I'll now um, start to set up what's called filters, which are something that will be used when uh, having to color our drawings. Filters are placed under the view ribbon here, and I'll make a new one, um, one for each U value. So the first one will be U value 0 0.3, or that will be the name of it at least. It will be applied only to our walls and the filter rule will be that my parameter called u value should equal 0 0.3 apply this and create a new one a new one named u value 1. Point, sorry 1.8 and that should apply for my windows and again parameter should equal 1.8 in this case. 
apply it and say OK. So far, nothing happened except from um, a few filters being created. These filters will now be used within the visibility graphics. You have to go to the ribbon called filters and you'll have to add the one we just created. I'll say OK. And in here, I'm now allowed to overrule the graphical expression of, for instance, the cut pattern uh, of the walls, which I will give a green color and a solid hatch, like this. And the window, I will do a red color and a solid hatch again. Okay. So, if I apply this and say OK, I'll notice that suddenly my drawing has changed um, and I now have a nice representation of the uh, U-value analysis. One last thing you could consider is that um, you might also want to do some of your analysis in a section and for that reason um, I'll just demonstrate how we could create what's called a view template based upon this view and use that for instance for a section. So I will create a template from current view. I'll call it U value, visibility graphic, maybe like this. Name it, say OK. Notice that it's uh, under all disciplines. OK. And then I'll create a small section like this. Um, should apply down here and I might want to rename it as well and call it um, U-value like this. And in order to get the right coloring I'll then have to apply the view template I just created which should be let's see, sorry, under here, all, and uh, u-value vg was the name, OK, and now I have a nice uh, green and red um, coloring of my building components. OK, I hope this gave you an idea of how we can add information to our building components and at the same time use this information to create uh, graphical representations for a U-value analysis. But also remember to watch the video about shared parameters which will be a technique that um, I recommend using when dealing with setting up parameters. Goodbye for now and hope to see you in coming videos.